Hello YouTube, this is Chef Jones. Welcome back to Pop's Home Cooking. Today, we're gonna to be preparing Brumbler Stew. Okay YouTube, with the Brumbler Stew, you got all the ingredients here. But the first thing we're gonna do is get us a big pot. A nice size pot, and we're gonna fry our bacon in it because we're gonna use the grease from the bacon to fry our ground meat. Okay, I've heated my pot. And now I'm going to take my bacon, some good fresh bacon, and I'm going to put it in there and let it start frying. Yeah, that's what you want to hear. You don't really need this much bacon. You don't need about two strips. But you know, bacon is something good when it's fried to a crisp. So I'm going to fry it to a crisp and get all of the grease out of it because I'm going to use about three tablespoons to fry up my ground beef and my ground chicken. And you can do what you want to with the bacon. Eat it after you get the grease out of it. But I'm not gonna put that in my brumper stew. Let's just turn it over. We don't want to keep it on one side. I wish y'all could smell this bacon. This grease, the reason you put this grease in there and start cooking with it to give the Brumble stew some of the best flavors. Matter of fact, when I'm finished drowning and getting this grease out of this bacon, I think I'm eating a piece to myself. Okay, my bacon is pretty well brown, crisp, and uh, I'm about got as much grease as I'm gonna get out of that. So I'm gonna just put the bacon over here, let it drain the fat over here, so it'll be good and tasty later, and just set it over here out of the way. Now I drain this oil over into a little bowl. So I can just get me about two or three um, tablespoons out of there and begin to cook my ground beef and my ground chicken. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and peel my onion. Again, take out both ends. And I don't, it don't matter what you use, yellow onion, white onion, but just don't use no purple onion for this brumble stew, cause it just don't makes a good appearance. And like I say, that's how you be able to get it all fast is to come across it with the knife and you just take that side off, this side off. And let's peel this a little further down. Okay. We're gonna go over here, we're gonna cut it in here. And we'll cut the hand again. The reason I went on and did this now is because once I put my ground meats in the pan, I'm gonna have to continually stir it till it's done. So let's go over here and start cooking that ground meat. All right, got my onion chopped up, ready to go. I got to try a little piece of this bacon. It's sitting here looking so good. Mm. Wish I could put it in there, but I ain't. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring my pot back over my eye. And I guess I probably ain't got about three teaspoons, of this, two uh, tablespoons of this. I'm a little more, but I'm not gonna use too much more. Can't wash brown meat, so. I'm just gonna put that in there. Cut it up a little bit cause it ain't sizzling. 
And I'm putting my ground chicken in here. And once all that stuff sitting, I just keep stirring it until I get that done. Once I get it all done, then I'm gonna drain the fat off of it and put it in the sink. And as you can see, I still got my old trusty spoon. This spoon more of a bitch than I am. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and season my meat while it's stewing up. Put a little bit of seasoning all in there. That should be about enough of that. Put a little bit of this uh, beef bullion in there, just, just a bit. A little notch. But you can always put more later when you get ready to tune it up. Put your pepper in there. And stir it up real good and just continue to let it cook. You always want to chop it up, you don't want it to come out being real chunky once it's done. So keep it chopped up as it cooks. And since it's good lean meat, there shouldn't be too much fat to drain out once it's all done. Now we're getting there. Gotta keep chopping it up. Now it's about done. And you can tell there ain't gonna be enough juice in there to drain off because most everything I put in there was already lean pretty good. So there's no fat in there draining. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my onions. I didn't put one onion in there, you can put two. You still have as many you want to, it's according to how much you love onions. I love onions, but the people that's gonna eat this, they may not love as many onions as I do. So, we're gonna let that cook up for a while. And then we're gonna add a few more things. Okay, there's no juices in there. Everything is cooled down pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is add my uh, diced tomatoes. As you can see, it's to each his own, but I love their munchy. Diced tomatoes with the green peppers and onions in it. I put about four cans of that in there. Okay, now I put a little bit of uh, Brown sugar, just for sweetness, so be careful with that. That's something you probably want to do, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Get that out of there. Okay. Stir that up in there real good. Now, you want to add about a half a teaspoon of thyme. Don't add too much thyme because it's very, very strong. And it'll spread and take over your whole dish. And you pour your little bit of a market seasoning in there. Get your hot sauce. I don't know how much hot sauce you like. But you can just go for it. As long as it's Texas peak, you can go for it. Stir all that ingredients up in it. And we're gonna add a little water to that. Make sure it don't be too thick. Okay. 
stir it up real good. Now we're gonna let that start back cooking up. Let it start back boiling, then we're gonna add all our vegetables. Okay, it's been boiling pretty good bit. So I should get a pretty good taste in there. Now that'll tell you what you got. Don't forget, keep it clean. We got COVID out here. Throw this spoon away. This tank try to try know. But when you're a good tester, this your tasting testing tune products right here. If you are a good cook, you know what you need. I want a little more hot sauce. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump that bottle in there. And we got your margar seasoning. We use it instead of salt. We're trying not to just have straight salt in this stuff. So, I mean, margar, you can even season your vegetables with it. Then we can put a little bit of season all back in it. Just, just a little bit. And I think that ought to be good enough. Now, that I think that season good enough, let me stir that in. It's time to add my vegetables because you don't want to add your vegetables before you got your stew seasoned up just right. Because that seasoning is going to get inside these vegetables. And what I use, I just use the uh, bird's eye mixed vegetables. And in all reality, in most Brahmin stews, people only put uh, peas and corn in it. I like a little mix in there. So I just put me about three 10 ounce bags in there. I stir them up in there. And see, this is the last stage, except for you're gonna have to do one more testing to them. Uh oh, that one got away. Now what we do, we just put the lid back on it and let it continue to boil. Okay, been boiling for about 20 minutes now. I'm gonna check it out. Mm, getting close. As you can see, the green bean right there, see that one is nice. I got to wait till the rest of them turn that color. It's gotta be like an olive green rather than hard green like that. And once it's olive green, hey, all up now to taste this. Looking good. Taking it up, it's about ready. I figure we got about 10, 15 more minutes. Those are uh, green beans. They're about to get olive green. 15 more minutes, they will be olive green. All right, we've been having this thing cooked about another 20, 30 minutes. Mmm, that's fresh out. But I'm gonna do another taste test here. Wonderful. So, after you cook your stew, this is your test and tune up kit right here. You can, you can even put some barbecue seasoning in there if you want to. Hot sauce, wildness, or seasoning all. If it don't come out right for you, just keep tuning it up. And thank you all for joining me again. Pops Home Cooking. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe to the video so you can see some upcoming videos. Thank you very much.